This is going to be a, a little bit of a chit chat about the value of money, dollars, paper, coinage versus things such as this. Because right now, this is hot on the topic. People are thinking that these beautiful pieces of paper are going to soon be outdone by these guys. Marvelous. There's a lot to the history of money, fiat currencies, valuation, devaluation, hyperinflation. There is a lot out there in the history books. We are not talking any of that. This is not going to be the game we're playing today. The game we're going to be playing today is imagining that you're essentially a, a non-essential employee, but you still have to make a living. So you are a little like hot dog person and your job is to sell hot dogs and you sell hot dogs for money and you use that green dollar fiat currency to pay your bills and move on in life and hopefully get somewhere better than where you're at. The reality is, is that you're always working off something in debt. You're always in the hole. You're always struggling paycheck to paycheck, even if you went to school and spent a whole lot of money and got yourself like a fancy house, you're probably still way off in debt somewhere and owing money, struggling, still fighting for dollars. As most of the world is still fighting for dollars. The awkward thing is that most of the world is ruled by some of the evil people that don't really care about the value of the dollar. They just care about owning most of the people. We know this is coming to true. It's no big surprise. So that we find out there's fortresses and there's flying space people that are going to save or fight us. Who knows? We're not going there on that one. <sighs> so I like to take the money I earn and I like to go talk to the people in the shops that like to sell me the gold and the silver. And I prefer to buy gold and silver when I can. It's been a little bit off the hooks recently. It's going to be probably blown off the hooks a little bit more recently. But the beauty of owning real gold and silver is that you have it in your hands. It's something tangible. Your your kids can play with it. They, they can hear it. You get... You get the sound, you get that beautiful clink, clink. Beautiful clink. To most people in life, most of us out there that are struggling, getting by, doing the daily grind, trying to survive, most of us are just focused on dollar bills. Dollar bills are what keeps us going we, most of us don't realize that it is not really a dollar bill. It is a Federal Reserve note. That Federal Reserve note is a debt-created monetary-based system that only ever makes you the loser. That's the hard dose of reality there, that the fiat currency system is a system that's designed to fail where you eventually will become the loser. You're going to become this guy. This is going to become you when we all learn that the dollar, which is going to be deleveraged from the world reserve currency, everyone expects it. It's only a matter of time. And the way things have been rolling out recently, the rest of the world really has to be putting their head in their ass in order to let us continue to devalue the world's currency at the rate that we're going. The amount of money that has been printed 
in the last couple of months and will be printed in the next couple of months is astronomically out of proportion to the overall amount of dollars ever made. We've been making more in the last couple of months than have ever been in circulation. That's getting out of hand. And it's all really just paper. It's, it's not based on anything anymore. There is some intrinsic value. There is something out there, but it's really just, it's just a piece of paper, just kind of like this. It's just made by a different monopoly division. A lot of the general populace may, may not truly be aware of what's going on with the silver. Gold and silver have long once been deemed currency. For many, many years, your biblical stories, your old scholars, your grandparents were able to use it as actual value and store of wealth. For many, 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 many years, ever since the different agreements of Bretton Woods Accords and all of those fancy things where the Federal Reserve individuals decided that we should separate our dollar and silver um, so that we could essentially print more dollars. The whole plan was for the U.S. dollar to just be more and more and more and more and more. Just give us more and more and more and more and more. So once we could make more and more of these and have celebrities and famous people and our... We can't have royalty. We, we, when America was formed, we were not allowed to have a royalty. But we could have popular people. So if we made popular people, and they all supported the money, then the general populace would be supported and would want the money. And then the money would become valuable, so then there'd be criminals that would do scary bad things, and we would need law enforcement to save us because we can't defend ourselves because we're stupid people. We would need all of those people really to help support and force trust. I'm going to say that gently. I'm going to say force trust upon this, which, yeah, you can send it to me. Come on, bring it in. I'll be happy. I'd much rather play in this game. Unfortunately, hauling these things around is a pain in the ass. That's 10 ounces right now. There's 10 ounces. There's 10 ounces. There's a whole bunch more. I got some more stacked in there. I couldn't imagine walking around with this in my bag, but believe it or not, it's not unheard of to walk around to go out for a while with knowing that I've got 500 or a couple grand in my pocket. It seems absurd, but I'm, it's not that nerve wracking to me. Walking around with the equivalents in silver right now is a pain in the ass. This whole short squeeze, this whole short squeeze which I would love to have happen. This whole short squeeze that could happen, and if it did, if this whole short squeeze happened, and we were able to take the silver, and we were able to bump it up, and we were able to if we were able to release the whole bind that silver has been under for years and we could get it to just fly to the moon and they would suspect that silver could top out in the hundreds it would push gold up but if silver could creep up even higher than that the most outlandish speculation floating around right now was that they would try and get silver to hit a thousand dollars an ounce? Yeah, that sounds real nice right now. So the short squeeze on silver, believe me, I would love for it to play out. I think it sounds great. I would rather put all of my eggs 
into this kind of a basket. And I'd sell off all of these while I can, because these, it's taking more and more and more and more and more of this to buy this right now. So when this skyrockets and I'm able to sell this out to people, and then I can get more of this. And then when this comes back down, as it probably will, because it'll form into a bubble just like this is, and then I go uh, back and forth and back and forth. And each time getting the pile bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's the end goal. So I'm thinking... In my little life raft here, in my little life raft of wealth management, I could have a little golden frog showing me the way, and I could jump on board. I could try and land in my target. I could just deal with being thrown bones. I could relish in my decision making to jump on board while I could. I could get the pulse of the industry, figure out what's going on, what makes it tick, and why. Or I could just sloth it out. Keep going. Keep doing the doing you're doing. Hang out with your Federal Reserve notes. Hang out with your funny money. Let us in the world of silver move on. Let us just sort of do our own thing. We'll just sort of be there on the fringe, hanging out, playing with really awesome, cool, shiny things. Your kids, when they see it, they just walk by and stop and just are drawn instantly to it. They want to pick it up and play with it. They just want to fondle it. It might also be something to do with us getting them these guys. Feast your eyes on this. Limited edition. This is phenomenal. This right here. Oh, man. That's real gold. Can't get any better than that. Add in a couple of Canadian maples. A hulk. I love my painted liberties. And then... This is mostly for the kids, but I think that they all will really enjoy this in the future. So this is just for them. Think about it, people. If you can, you've got a choice coming up here real soon. You've got a choice where you can hang out with the status quo. We could squeeze a short sale on some of the financial brokerage houses and watch them just go plummeting down. Watch them just cascade and virtually fall apart, which would be hilarious. It would unfortunately bring a whole lot of the financial system down. Admittedly, there would be lots of repercussions around the world. I'm not advocating that. I would definitely love to see an equaling balance of wealth represented to the general populace. And if we can short sale some of the major banks out there that have manipulated this shit, and we can get a little bit of justice and do peace, I would encourage you to do so. Be safe. Stay smart. Liberate your mind. And just keep in mind, silver in twenty. 21 is your toilet paper of 2020. Silver of 2021 is your toilet paper of 2020. Keep that in mind. You can have either have silver or toilet paper. Silver or toilet paper, people. Those are your choices. Be safe. Oh, I love that sound. <laughs>